The electric car price premium has evaporated. It's gone. I've been saying this would happen for a long time now, and I know that many of you knew this would happen as well. Currently, there is actually no price premium buying an EV versus a gasoline or petrol diesel powered car in the United States. It's actually cheaper in many cases. If you qualify for EV incentives, it actually is cheaper. Now, there are currently 57 electric vehicle models for sale in the US. While Tesla, of course, is still the most popular, they have around 55% market share. New players in the market are driving competition and prices continue to drop. So Tesla does have competition and therefore they are pushing prices down in order to keep their market share and they keep on selling more EVs. EV sales are still growing, but because the growth hasn't been as fast as what it was in the past few years, which it never could be, EV sales have grown by 360% over the past three years. I mean, that was unsustainable. Therefore, what that means is the enthusiastic early adopters, most of them have already bought in. They might be up for a second car, but they might not. The market hasn't been successful in general at getting the hardcore gasoline car fans to convert to an EV. Without, you know, a better infrastructure and with relatively mediocre consumer education in the United States, EV sales are lagging behind projections this year so far. This is driving prices down. According to data from Cox Automotive, the price premium for an EV over a gasoline vehicle is now less than $5,000. That's down from a $17,000 price gap in 2022. So the, the price premium is actually around $4,000 right now. But if you include EV incentives, most people qualify for them. Most people don't make more than $200,000 a year, so most people qualify. That means there is no price premium. In fact, for some models of EV, it's cheaper when you compare that vehicle to a, an equivalent gasoline or petrol diesel powered vehicle. Of course, there's other savings as well. I mean, in an electric car, you don't have to use your brakes. You don't have to replace rotors and brake pads. You can just use regen braking. Uh, there's other big advantages in terms of daily running costs. A lot of people have solar panels. They can just charge their EV using solar. There's heaps of reasons why an EV in general is actually gonna save you immense amounts of money, but we're talking the, the upfront purchase cost. In fact, incredibly right now, the cheapest vehicle to lease in the United States is an EV. It's a Hyundai Ioniq 6. It's $250 a month. With increased competition, segment leader Tesla has resorted to some pretty serious price cuts in an attempt to maintain its market share. Tesla's popular Model 3 sedan fell in price from $47,000 in early 2023 to only $39,000 today. A Model Y performance fell from $70,000 to $52,000 today. But the most expensive vehicle that Tesla sell, the Tesla Model S and the Model X, were, they were both reduced in price by $40,000 year over year. In some cases, um, we've seen even bigger price discounts from Tesla depending on the month. You know, they have different prices month to month. But these precipitous price drops are driving the competition to lower their prices as well. In addition to factory price cuts, dealers are doing deals on electric car inventory, some of the models from 2023, and some vehicles are selling at a lot less than what you would expect. I mean, dealers do deals on gas-powered vehicles and EVs as well. And in some cases, well, the average prices of EVs apparently dropped by $2,000 in February alone compared to January. We're going to continue to see price cuts or discounts just because there's inventory and dealers are trying to get these sold, said Stephanie valdez Striti, Director of Industry Insights at Cox Automotive. Now, does that mean there's no demand? It doesn't. Of course, it doesn't mean that. But keep in mind, America's, America's new car inventory has hit all-time records. It's nearly at 2 million cars right now. So there's too much inventory across the entire car market. The price dropping trend isn't going to end. Battery pack prices have continued to come down, making it possible for manufacturers as they ramp up manufacturing and the price of making a vehicle becomes cheaper to continue to discount vehicles. There's a number of other factors though that could influence prices in the short term. If Chinese automakers figure out a way to get their less expensive EVs into the US market, you'll see vehicle prices come down pretty much immediately. But seeing as battery prices are now more than 92% cheaper than what they were in 2008, the truth is, 
it's really no more expensive to make an EV versus a gasoline-powered vehicle. You couldn't say that a year ago, but it is actually correct today. Now, if your General Motors and you're manufacturing expensive batteries yourself and you're not doing a very good job of it, that's not going to be true. But if you're mass manufacturing batteries or if you're using batteries from CATL, lithium ion phosphate, it's no more expensive to mass manufacture an EV versus a gasoline-powered car. But if you look at used EV prices, well, they've come down just as much, if not more. The price of used EVs is dropping like a stone as consumers prefer to buy when dealing with a new technology. So there's some amazing prices on used EVs now. You couldn't say that last year either, but the used EV market is a huge opportunity. Price is the biggest barrier to entry for most new car buyers and for new technology. I mean, smartphones, I remember I didn't buy an iPhone personally for the first couple of years. I thought they were too expensive. Well, after a few years, they were no longer too expensive. And all the features and the benefits versus the old Nokia crapola, you know, the old Blackberry phones with a million batteries on them. I mean, smartphones were just that much better. And we can say that about EVs. Once the prices come down to the point where there's no longer any reason to buy a gasoline powered vehicle or a diesel powered vehicle, then we'll see EV adoption continue to skyrocket. There's one EV right now that proves the point, and that's the Nissan Leaf. It currently costs $28,000 and does qualify for the EV incentive, right? It's made in America. Equivalent gasoline powered vehicles might be what, $25,000? pretty similar in price, but they don't qualify for any incentives. So you might be able to get a Nissan Leaf for even cheaper than a gasoline powered car. Now, if the Nissan Leaf doesn't uh, interest you, well, it tells the Model Y. The cheapest Model Y costs $42,000. And with that incentive applied, it's $34,500. There's really no better car that you can get in the US at that price right now, in my opinion. And it does prove the point here that EVs and gasoline powered vehicles have hit price parity. You just didn't realize that it happened. Thanks for watching.